Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and this is Beefly Beauty and today we're going to talk about acids. So I talked about vitamin C already. This is the second thing that really changed my skin within days or weeks. Again, retinol is going to make a um, deeper, more definite change long term, but it's going to take you months to see that in your skin. A chemical exfoliant you will see so, so quickly. This is the duo. <laughs> I mean, I was getting compliments so, so quickly, so, so quickly. It just brought a glow to my skin, it helped my acne, it helped my fine lines. Um, so we're gonna talk about three different kinds of chemical exfoliators. Um, chemical sounds really scary, acid sounds really scary. It's actually safer than a physical exfoliant of the skin because when you physical exfoliate the skin, you can really tear, make little tears on your skin, which is really scary. I have done a blog on this, so I will link it below. I am gonna use it for some notes. As we get older, our skin becomes uneven, it gets drier, it builds up these dead layers of skin and the easiest way to combat this is a chemical exfoliator. So it can help skin tone, dead skin cell buildup, dullness, dryness, flakiness, um, clogged pores, unevenness, um, and you can even use a combination of these um, in your routine. I am all for simplified routines, so I use one at night and a vitamin C in the morning. You really wanna look for something with a good pH, something between three and four. It does make you photosensitive, so you should be wearing an SPF anyway. Please use an SPF. Any sort of exfoliator, whether it's chemical exfoliator or an like a, your antioxidant, like a vitamin C, it thins the skin. So it makes you more susceptible to sun damage, so please wear your SPF. Um, it's better to use them at night because they do not mix well. Um, with, ret uh, with retinoids, so you want to go back and forth on those, or vitamin C, so you want to separate those night and morning. Um, I already said that they're safer. There are three that are really big. Well, two big categories, AHA and BHA. BHA is your salicylic acid. It's oil soluble, better for oily skin, acne prone skin. Um, the ones that are really famous right now, everybody's doing one, <laughs> is AHAs, um, glycolic acid, and lactic acid. I find that gly glycolic works better if you can handle it. If you have very sensitive skin or very, very dry skin, or you wanna ease in, lactic acid from milk is gonna be better for you. If you wanna try, go ahead and like start, try with the glycolic, go ahead. Um, and then if it doesn't work, maybe go down to the lactic. But lactic and glycolic are both AHAs, alpha hydroxy acids. Their uh, AHAs are water soluble, so they work more on the surface of the skin, whereas BHAs or salicylic acid goes deep into the pore and kind of cleans it out, which is why it's not bad to use them both if you can handle it. Um, on an AHA, you want to go to a higher percentage, so 10 to 15 percent. Um, I have some favorites <laughs> that I will mention, um, but your routine does not need to be crazy, okay? At night, this is how I would use this. Wash as normal, double cleanse. Most people should double cleanse. Um, there are some, there is some debate on whether you should, you should moisturize first. I think if you're um, easing in and you're really sensitive, you might wanna moisturize first. I don't, I want it straight on my skin. So wash, tone if you usually tone, let it dry. You do not wanna put a chemical exfoliator on wet skin. Um, so let that dry, put on your serum. You do not wanna overdo it, more is not necessarily better in this situation. Let that dry and then moisturize and that's it. You do not need 27 steps at night. So chemical exfoliator at night, make sure to moisturize after. If you want to add an oil, great. My favorites. Who do you think my favorite is? Drunk Elephant. Yes, I'm a part of the cult. Um, there are a couple other ones that I really love. Um, Paula's Choice. They act, Paula's Choice has a lot of really great chemical exfoliators, including the salicylic acid or BHA. Um, I use a glycolic acid that's 10% uh, from her. Um, Pixie has one, it's a glow overnight serum, glow tonic, no it's not glow tonic, glow serum. I've used that and that's affordable. 
Uh, I believe that Paula's Choice is affordable. Affordable meaning to me, uh, Drunk Elephant is 80 or $90. These are between 20 and 30 bucks, the Paula's Choice and the uh, Pixie. Those three are my favorite. Um, you can find other ones out there. Uh, the Ordinary has a lactic acid. I look for glycolic. Um, Drunk Elephant and Paula's Choice have both AHA and BHA mixed, which is something I really like. Um, again, wear your SPF, wear your SPF. Um, and go to the blog after this, I will link that below and you can see more detail and more product recommendations. So that's everything on chemical exfoliators, guys. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.